Uh, how do you really react to so many different dynasties cutting across party lines, losing at the hustings yesterday? What message is this really sending out? See, uh, with the classical definition of democracy, democracy is the government of the people, by the people, and for the people. And uh, in democracy, both the treasury benches as well as the opposition, they are very much the part of the same democracy. And whosoever performs will be blessed, and whosoever doesn't perform their duty will perish. The problem with the dynasty is that uh, when uh, somebody gets the post in the party and then get tickets and ministry and everything uh, due to the family background, then uh, there is no scope of having good people with caliber in the system. And that is why the opposition of India is losing very badly because they are not having pe right people with caliber. I can see many people are there in Congress party as well who has got caliber to lead the country. Country, but uh, they can't uh, become the president of the Congress party until they are having the name of Nehru Gandhi family attached with them. When fortunately, my party, Bharati Janta Party, is the only party where a booth level worker Amit Shah can become the national president of uh, national president uh, of Bharati Janta Party, and uh, a Chaiwala can become the prime minister of country. So, uh, uh, if there is a culture, so this is a rejection of again, dynasty if, according if to you. Your party president also said that this is the end of dynasty. You believe this is a rejection of dynasty culture? Definitely, because uh, uh, politics is uh, uh, it should be a nation building mission and not commission. But then and I will have to ask you a counter question, Gulrez, that even in yes. your party you have a lot of dynasties. In your party also you have second generation, third generation politicians, some of whom have even won yesterday. What about them? if somebody uh, is a son of a minister or an organization leader and he or she is having caliber and if they are working from the uh, uh, grassroots of the party and the grassroots of society, then they must be accepted. Uh, they should not be hindered because they are the son or daughter of anybody. But uh, if you are not having caliber and still you are becoming the president of a party or you are becoming a minister or an MP, MLA, then definitely the but biggest... But that's the point, the Gurez, if you have country, dinners within your party, how can you turn around and call Rahul Gandhi names and call him Shehzada? If you have dinners within your party as well, there. I see. That's the basic difference. I'm telling you, uh, uh, nobody can predict who will be the next president of Bharatiya Janata Party. Not even Amit Shah ji or Modi ji can predict it. But uh, yes, for Congress Party, you can predict who will be the next. It may be Priyanka Gandhi, or it may be Robert Wadra, or it may be their sons and daughters. And uh, you go to Samajwadi Party, it was Mulayam Singh, then it is Achilesh, then you go to NCP, Sharad Pawar, followed by uh, Ms. Sule. So, uh, in Bharati Janta Party, there is no culture of uh, dynasty. Yes, if somebody is performing well, he or she is a daughter of somebody, uh, of any minister or any neta, uh, it should not matter. Main thing is that there should be caliber. And, so, so, so uh, you're making a distinction between dinners? Who have caliber and dinners who have no caliber? You're saying uh, no, you're no. saying they should dinners dinners should not suffer if they have caliber. But whereas if yes. they don't have caliber, then they shouldn't be rewarded. Is what you're saying? They should not be rewarded. But uh, unfortunately, most of the opposition parties in India, with caliber or without caliber, they promote the sons and daughters of the, the leaders. That is wrong and that is not in the interest of the nation. And uh, as our democracy is maturing, it is throwing away that culture out. And this is the reason uh, they are in uh, sh shutters right now. They are shuttered because of this dynasty only. Okay, uh, you know, uh, do you believe that that's true, cutting across all party lines yesterday? Because we've seen Nikhil Kumarasamy, who is Devi Gowda's grandson, lose. He's from the JDS. We saw K. Kavita lose. Uh, she's from the TRS. We saw Chandrababu Naidu's son lose. He's from the TDP. We saw Rahul Gandhi and Jyotiraditya Sindhya lose. They are from the Congress. So, cutting across party lines, this pattern is being seen, Gurdjieff. Yes, that is the reason I am saying. As the democracy of India is maturing, 
the people, the Janata of India want people with caliber who can develop the society, who can build up the nation and not just the people who have got big names and big families and big villas and big cars. No, we don't want that. We want people who understand the feelings of Janata, we, the people who can understand the issues, the core issues, the problems and how to rectify them. Okay. You know, also at the end of the day, uh, we, we are seeing, of course, uh, uh, the Prime Minister also talk about this Namdar versus Kamdar culture. Do you believe this is something that's being seen across life? Of course, it'll be seen in politics because we just saw Lok Sabha election result yesterday. But do you believe, Dr. Guldrej Sheikh, that it is the new India that is rejecting such culture? That if you have caliber, if you can work, if you are determined, you know, to, to work hard and have dedication, then you can achieve great heights. You don't need to be the son of someone or the grandson of someone. Do you believe this is the new India? Sir, it is not rejecting. It has already rejected that culture. Uh, and uh, I am a good example in front of you. A person is hailing from and born in a small town because of my party and I work for the grassroots of party. I am sitting on your channel today. I am not sitting because of my father or grandfather. Okay, we leave it at that. Thank you, Dr. Guldrej Sheikh of the BJP for joining us there on NewsX with your 